<clears throat> there I was, just minding my own business, just do it. Oh, it's a good thing I played baseball when I was a kid. What are they throwing at me today? Oh, oh, it's the Barazza Sete 30 coffee grinder, and it's heavy. This thing just came at me. I'm telling you, it's a good thing that I played baseball because they're really finding out how much they can throw at me here in the studio. One day something, I'm just going to miss it. It's going to flow. No, it's not going to happen. All right, guys, we're doing an unboxing of the Barazza Sete 30 uh, coffee grinder. Now, funnily enough, we are FrenchPressCoffee.com, but the Barazza Sete 30 is not a grinder that you would use for French press coffee. This would work for AeroPress, it would work for espresso, pour over, and etc. Um, but because of the type of grinder that it is, it wouldn't be used for French press coffee. But we love to review and take a look at coffee gear here, obviously, on the channel. So we thought we'd take a look at the Barazza Seta. Now, it's got a pretty unique design, which is that the bean hopper sits right atop the uh, burrs for grinding. And you can fill that bean hopper up and then just start grinding away. Um, but like I said, I haven't had hands on this. So here we go, let's take a look at, hey. All right, nice. All right. So as with most things Barazza, it's definitely packaged really well. Ooh. This sounds really silly, but I really like the feel of this plastic. There's something about Something about some plastic. I don't know if you guys have ever experienced this. Some plastic has this like weird smooth feel to it. Maybe I'm just doing too many unboxings. I don't know. Anyway, it's worth mentioning. All right, so this is our bean hopper. Oh, nice. It doesn't feel too heavy, but I don't think it really necessarily needs to be. This is kind of cool. Gotta have a good brush for being able to clean. Plastic bag does not have the same feeling. I know, I'm getting geeky about plastic bags. But you know what, guys? You should know me by now. I get geeky about weird things. This is the lid. Ooh, all right, now this is the part I've been interested in. This is the part that almost tried to take me out. Ooh. Thank you, look at that, the magic of television. The box just flew away. Ooh, nice. All right. Hefty. Yeah, this feels good. Now, I like the, the weight on this, actually, because it doesn't feel like it's going to scoot away from me while I'm grinding. And yeah, nice, good. Good, solid rubber feet. I feel like everyone eventually is going to be watching these videos and say, Brian seems to really like it when things don't move. And that's true. I don't. I like it if something will stay in place. Good rubber feet are actually pretty cool. This is a beefy power cable. I think this is actually the first coffee device I've ever seen that has an IEC power cable, the type that I would use with a PC. That's impressive. Bag of tools. Instructions. You know, I'm just, I'm going through, I'm looking at this, I'm going, why is there, why is there a hex wrench? So I pull out, the instructions, which is like one of those maps. You know, when you get a map, and you, I'm never going to figure out how to fold this back together. And I look at number 19, bag of tools. Thanks. That, that cleared it right up. That was good. <laughs> That's all right. We're going to figure it out. We're going to put this device together just so we can see how easy it is to put together. The actual operation, all the features, functionality, we'll talk about that in a future video, so you want to check that out. Um, but remember, got the bag of tools. Now, <laughs> wow, I'm gonna say, yeah, this, it feels good. Uh, it feels hefty. And taking a look at it, looks like it's a fairly straightforward kind of grinder. Now, I'm interested to see what the front of it is, is going to operate like how the operation of the device is going to work. It looks like it's got an LCD on it. And then my adjustment ring right here. Ooh, yeah. Feels good. Nice and clicky. That's good. I like it when things are good and clicky. That's important. We'll find out what that bag of tools does at one point or another. Um, so I'm just playing along here. You know what? I was looking at the instructions, but you guys should know by now. I, I like to just dive in and see what it's all about. All right. So I'm definitely making, I think, a pretty good assumption here that this is going to catch my grounds. 
All right, and this is a lid for that. Am I right? Maybe, we're gonna find out. This is called, what can Brian figure out by himself and what doesn't he figure out by himself? This is definitely our bean hopper. I don't wanna put it in in the wrong way. Ooh, this is cool. I like this. It's just something cool about this design right here for being able to open and close the bean hopper. It's good and clicky, which is cool. And cool thing about this is that if you're able to close the bean hopper, then you can actually take it away so you don't get beans everywhere. I think somewhere on our channel there's an outtake of me taking a bean hopper out and just beans going everywhere. Yeah, not fun. You don't want that. All right, so the bean hopper is going to fit right on top of the device. Yep. Boom. And then you've got your lid. Fill that sucker up with beans. Open and close, that's nice and easy to use. Let's plug it in, because I want to see what the LCD screen on the front of this is all about. I've got these two little metal rings, a hex wrench, like I say, and then a note. For information about adjusting your set, to go to barazza.com slash documentation. So we could go on to the website, of course we can look at the quick start guide. So this is for adjusting the device. So that's interesting. We'll get into that when we talk about the actual operation of the SETA that may be to some folks liking and for others it may not be. Some of us do not want to spend too much time adjusting and some of us are rather geeky. Let's plug this thing in and see what it's all about. Now the whole purpose of this is essentially how would you know you as an everyday customer respond to just taking this device out of the box and just putting it together. Like I say, I know instructions are important, but we all, when we get something new, we just start putting, we just try to start using it. We love to just dive in and see what it's all about. The ease of use with the device is what makes it easier to do that. Uh, if you're not someone like me who reviews this stuff all the time, it's kind of nice to be able to just start using it. So let's see what this is all about. All right, I've plugged it in. Hey, all right, nice. Pretty straightforward LCD screen right there. It is backlit and pretty easy to read, which is great. So this is for adjusting, adjusting time. So we can see right here we've got a little clock icon. That's for adjusting time. This is pretty straightforward. This is for starting and pausing our uh, grind process, and this is for stopping it altogether. So it's pretty straightforward. Let's toss some beans in and see how the grind goes. So what is different here before I get into grinding? Because I've talked about a lot of automatic grinders. Typically, with most automatic grinders, we adjust the grind by turning the hopper, and you just twist the hopper until it goes to a certain setting, and then that is how you grind. But this is different because we've got the adjustment right here on the bottom. So your hopper just holds your beans. But this right here is for adjusting from coarse on this far right hand side, which I'm going to assume somewhere around the 800 micron range. And on the left hand side we've got fine, which I would assume to be probably something like 250, 300 microns, give or take. We haven't measured it just yet. But what I'm saying is that this is pretty cool actually, is that your adjustment is right here, so it's really should be really easy to use. Um, so let's go ahead and pop some beans in. We don't need to use too many in this case. Now we would need to open our hopper, of course. Okay, so we've opened it. Beans should be falling down and into the burrs now. And we'll pop our lid back on. And then we would choose how long we want to grind for. Now you could just start and stop this, so you don't necessarily have to get that just right. But if you know you're going to be grinding a lot, obviously you would want to set this to a certain uh, time frame. And then I'm just going to go ahead and adjust. We'll go for, let's try coarse. Okay. So we're going to try coarse and then we'll try fine just on either end of the spectrum. I just want to see how it works. So I've adjusted it and let's start grinding and nothing happens. All right, so nothing was happening. And I, I did, believe it or not, I know, I'm gonna blow everyone's minds. I was following instructions, having read them, um, but I just, I'm gonna pull the hopper out just again a little bit and then push it down and turn it until it stops moving. Should click into place. 
Should be relatively, you know, idiot proof, but I'm not saying that I'm perfect, believe me. All right, so let's try this again. Now there is a note in the instructions as well, which is that the device is not going to turn on if your adjustment ring for grinding is above the 31 mark. So if it's above that, it's not gonna turn on. But I do know that I was set to just about 31. I'll pop it back just a little bit. We'll adjust our time again. Make sure that our bean hopper is set to open and let's hit it again. Hey, yay, we did it. All right, good. All right, so that was only a little bit, obviously, but that's okay. Man, that was fast. Dang. All right, hold on. I wanna try this again. Whoa. That's, I'm, yeah, all right. All right, I'm impressed. That was fast, man, that was cool. That was really cool. All right, and it's, that's a great grind. That's good. All right, so let's, yeah, good grind. All right, I wanna do a little more. I just wanna see what fine is like. Okay, and let's hit it again. Yeah, not bad, not bad at all. I'm impressed, this is cool. This is a cool grinder, I like it. It's fast as all get out. It seems like it's really efficient, I gotta say. I love that adjustment ring right there. I like how easy that is, yeah. All right, so beyond my initial just not knowing how to get it to grind properly to start off with, this is pretty cool. I like this. My first impression, it feels really good. Uh, it was quite easy, ultimately, to really set up. So not, you know, not at all a bad device. I really like what Baratza does, so I'm really interested to see kind of how this whole thing comes together. We'll talk about this, obviously, in a future video. We'll show you all the ins and the outs and etc. But first impressions, yeah, this is pretty cool. I'm feeling it. It's a good device, and it's got a lot of heft to it. Like I say, I'm glad I was able to catch the thing. So make sure to tune in and check out our next videos about the Baratza set to 30. And if you've got questions or comments or anything else, leave them in the, in the comment section of this video or find our next video and get in touch with us there. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. I'm Brian with FrenchPressCoffee.com. I'll see you next time. Well, I hope you liked that highly caffeinated video. And if so, go ahead and give us a like and love it if you'd subscribe to our channel. So just go ahead, buttons right there. I'll wait. And if you do, I'll give you an awesome coffee quote. Go on. Ah, there you go. Thank you so much. And here's a quote. Herbal tea tastes so much better when it's coffee. <laughs>